Hey, I'm John. And I'm Kit. And this, this is, is our Great, great British, British Adventure, Edinburgh. Edinburgh. <laughs> We've been together 13 years and we love to travel, but we've never been to the UK. Follow along with us as we see the sights, meet the locals, and find our Great Britain. How you doing? I'm Howie. Great, I'm John. Kit. Welcome to 21st Century Kilt. So you know what the kilt is. It's the, the man's skirt of Scotland. <laughs> Basically the kilt kind of stands alone historically as a piece of clothing that's lasted the test of time. So what makes a 21st century kilt? Well, it sits lower on the hip. I wanted to make the kilt more for everyone. What kilt someone wears kind of does define a wee bit about them. Have you ever worn a skirt? I wore a skirt, not a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. I love that you use unconventional materials. Whilst anything a man would wear in trousers will make in a kilt. All righty, gentlemen, follow me and we'll get them tried on. All right, I'm excited. Reveal! <laughs> yeah, John, the colouring on that's beautiful. You look great, guys. Edinburgh is small, but worldly. We have more Michelin star restaurants per head in Edinburgh than anywhere in the world. There's a lot of pride being from Edinburgh. For such a small population of half a million, every culture and nationality is kind of represented here. So when you walk about, it's more a case of just feeling like you're part of it. Well, thank you so much. This has <laughs> been such a pleasure. John, you. Thank, thank you, you so guys. much. Should we check out Edinburgh Castle? Good morning, gentlemen. How are you doing? Welcome to Edinburgh Castle. I'll give you a wee tour of the castle here today. Okay, so we're now at the upper ward of Edinburgh Castle where we have both the oldest building in Edinburgh itself and the newest building within the castle complex. How old is the chapel? The chapel itself, 1100s is when it dates Ow. back to. Do we go inside? Of course we can, yes. <laughs> So what's the Black Dinner? The Black Dinner, it was an event that took place in the castle in 1440. Two boys were taken out into the square uh, and they were executed. Oh, wow. So it's kind of like the real Red Wedding. It, it, exactly. That's exactly what it is because the Red Wedding was based on the Black Dinner that happened here in Edinburgh Castle. Hey babe, you know what time it is? Tea time. Let's go. <laughs> oh, wow. This is so exciting. <laughs> Will you join me for tea? I would love to. I've never had high tea before. This, this is also a hotel, so you can just like come here and feel like you're living in a period drama. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. <laughs> mm. Wow. Nice sweet king. Oh my god. I feel like if I pull on this, the fireplace will spin in a circle <laughs> no, and we'll do be in another room. Okay, I won't, I won't. What a perfect way to spend the afternoon. Okay, so what are we doing? Where are we going? We're heading into the collection now. This is the world's largest collection of unopened Scotch whiskey. So you can see here, it's alphabetically organized. Wow. You see, we are literally just at the start of B. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> I never realized that there were this many brands of whiskey. This is so cool. So we're trying all of these today, right? Tell you what, if you drank one bottle a day of this, it would take you nine years and three months to finish the whole thing. Oldest bottle is that little one there. That bottle has been unopened for 122 years. So in Scotland, uh, the Gaelic for cheers would be Slangeva. Slangeva. John and Kit, welcome to the Royal York Britannia. Let me take you on a tour. If you'd like to follow me up the Grand Stairway, and we'll visit the Veranda Deck and the Sun Lounge. Well, John and Kit, welcome to the Veranda Deck. This is the, <laughs> the Royal Area on board Britannia. It's been all over the world. Travelled over a million nautical miles. I hear it also gets a little romantic sometimes on the Royal Britannia. It can get romantic. There have been, <laughs> there ha, there have been four uh, Royal Honeymoons, of course. They've travelled all over the world on state visits through all, all the countries of the Commonwealth, the United States of America, as far as Australia, all through the, the, the Caribbean, all these areas all throughout the world. Her Majesty was very upset to, have the, to lose the yacht, very upset. It was very important to her and she, she famously said that uh, it was the one place she could truly relax. Often, uh, Her Majesty would be handed mail as she came through this door and she liked sometimes to sit on the second step here and open her mail. Kind of like this. That very step. <laughs> you, look, you look very regal. So guys, you're just in time for morning tea. Please sit down. Edinburgh is a beautiful city. It's a vibrant, diverse city welcomes millions of visitors from all over the world. 
kind of a royal selfie situation. <laughs> We're, We're the kings, kings of the world! Great Britain is filled with so much history and Edinburgh especially feels like a storybook. Such a dream to come to this city, such a dream to come to Great Britain. I love you and I love Great Britain. I think we found our Great Britain.